This is TJ. In this video, I want to quickly cover five programs that are excellent tools for 2D animation and drawing. These programs are Inkscape, Pencil, Tupi, Scratch, and Synfig. And all of these programs are completely free to download and use for both personal and commercial use. They're all open source software. And with the exception of Tupi, all of them will run on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux operating systems. Tupi, for the time being, is a Linux-only program, I believe. Um, but if you're interested in these programs, I'd encourage you to download them and try them out for yourself. Um, and you can find download links at my website, tjfree.com. This first program is Inkscape, and it is a vector image editor similar to Adobe Illustrator. Uh, very similar, actually. And the reason I've included it on this list, um, it, it's a it, you can actually do a lot of stuff with Inkscape, but I've included it in animation because you can do... Um, it, it's a great tool for animation, and a lot of the programs out there for animation don't have uh, very good interfaces, in my opinion, for creating art. I mean, they're great for the, on the animation side, but creating the art isn't always as, as intuitive and, and easy as I'd like it to be. So sometimes I'll use Inkscape to create art, and then I'll export it in, in either as a vector image or as a um, just a, a regular bitmap image to use in my animations. Um, so that's Inkscape. Um, oh, one other thing that you can do with Inkscape, you can draw something up by hand, and then you can convert it into a vector image using Inkscape, which is cool. And then you can use that in your animations. OK, Pencil is the next program I want to show you. And Pencil is just a very simple program. It kind of reminds me of, of uh, like Microsoft Paint. What am I doing here? Uh, <laughs> Microsoft Paint with, a, with an animation side to it. And it just creates just very simple animations. This is like a terrible example of what it can do. But I have another one here. This is a, this, I exported this as an SWF file, like a flash animation. It's being played within a web browser. This is a simple background and then a little animated guy blinking and moving his arms. Um, but you can do, if you spend time on this time with pencil, you can do some pretty cool stuff. But it's very basic. And it, it's, if you want to make advanced stuff, you have to spend a lot of time using pencil to make things like that. Um, I would use Tupi to do more advanced things, um, Tupi or Synfig. Um, let's take a look at Tupi here, which is a Linux-only program. And so I'm going to have to show you in a virtual running Linux here, um, a virtual machine. On my, I'm running Windows 7 um, to, sh to make this video. But um, let me just show you an example. This is, a, this is an example of something cool that you can do um, in Tupi, is you can do a, like a motion tween which is something, a feature you'd find in a program like Adobe Flash, where all you do is draw you draw this ball once. I'll show you over here. See, I just drew it once, and then all these scenes in between, it automatically moves it. It moves it there for me, and, it, and it's done by a motion tween. And you can also create um, backgrounds and multiple frames, and it's just it's pretty cool. And as you draw the things up, it'll kind of smooth the lines for you, which is a feature that... Um, that pencil does not have. Anyway, very cool program. And uh, let's see, I'll show you another quick example here while I've got it. Come on, home folder. Da -da. Here's a little video I made using um, Tupi. Okay, you can export in, in lots of different video formats using Tupi as well, which is which is kind of nice. It's a great tool for creating professional 2D animation or just for fun. Okay, so the next one I want to show you is Scratch. And Scratch is actually a program It was designed by MIT, and it's like a programming language for kids and adults, I guess, that, that want to learn the basics, uh, like the logical side of, of programming. It's really easy to use, um, and you just drag and drop these commands over here. So this one I ha have says, when I click this flag, move this guy forward 15 steps. So every time I click it, he's going to move forward 15, probably pixels is what he's moving, actually. And then I can change him so he does a different animation each time I click it. He'll, he'll switch between two different animations, so now it looks like he's running as I click this. And you can make it automated. So um, I've included this because you can do animations. Here's an example of an animation, that, one of the samples that comes with this program. Also simple, kind of like what you could make in 2P or Pencil. Okay. Um, but uh, I'll show you another example real quick here because it's this I'm not going to be able to do this program justice 
um, as just animation because it can do so much. Oh, great. What I do? Um, I'll show you this. This is a Pac-Man example. And so this is actually a little game that, that someone has made up. And I'm controlling it with my... This isn't an animation. I'm actually controlling this character with my keyboard. So you can interact with these, these creations. And see, this is a pretty simple program that someone just dragged and dropped into here. So it's a cool a cool thing. If you have kids and you want them to learn to program, they can use this. If you just want a, an easy-to-use, easy-to-learn interface for making fun animations just for fun, you could use Scratch. If you want to do it professionally, I, I don't know if Scratch would be for you. Um, for one main reason is it doesn't allow you to export your work in any kind of useful format. So, you, But you could use like Cam Studio like I'm using to do a screen capture and record a video that way. That would be an option. All right, this last program, Synfig. Um, Synfig Studio is a great program. It's similar to Pencil and Tupi, only it, you can create some really, really cool work with it. It's probably the most professional tool out of all of these. Um, it's all um, vector image based. Well, and yeah, um, let me show you an example. This is a this is a sample, one of the sample files that comes with Synfig, and this is a, a rendered image of a 2D animation that is made using Synfig. Okay. Um, so you, oops, one of the toolbars right here. So it's a cool program, and uh, I don't know how to use it at all. I just just showing it to you. Um, but yeah, if you want to invest the time, any of these are great, great programs and and a lot of fun to to use and and play with. So I'd encourage you to check them out. And uh, like I said, download links are at tjfree.com. Watch my other videos where I do reviews of programs like 3D animation and graphic design and photography and all kinds of stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you have a great day.